one simple technique of making sure that all our products sort of had the same vibe was choosing the same text. We got a font off a site called defont.com and we chose an Augustus text as you can see on the last poster and the film magazine right here. We've changed the styles but kept the same font size on most. Here you can see more in depth that we've embossed the text and created a different filter within the text. This allows the audience to react in a similar way every time they see the text. Having this consistency allows all our products to relate with each other and create an overall sort of iconic image using this text. Here's just a close-up of the one we used on our poster. We wanted the mask to have a different feel going through our, all our different texts. Here in the film we've had a duplicate image of both people. Uh, here the eyes shown in one, the eyes shown in a different one. Here you can see it's just the mask on their own and it's kind of quite eerie and it seems like it's hung up. Here's what the image eventually looked like after that. And here's the close-up with the text laid over the top. Here you can see we've layered biblical text over the mask. Challenging the Bible was a theme we wanted to keep consistent throughout our film. Again, we can see the destruction of a Bible here and the close-up of Psalms. Also, the pagan logo was used in relation to this theme. We subtly integrated this theme by having a cult issue in our film magazine. Throughout all our products, we used the element of urban decay. We chose this inner city car park as it was a dark, derelict underground space. We also used this location in Stockwell as it gave the feeling of overbearingness and entrapment. Another conventional psychological thriller trailers is the use of bleak filters such as grey, which we used after we filmed these shots on Final Cut Pro. To add to this atmosphere of urban decay, we used the concrete looking texturised background on our text slates on our trailer. This texturised background was also used on the film poster to link the product. In establishing genre, we wanted to make it clear to the audience that this film was a psychological thriller. We did this by showing a vulnerable main character and a masked faceless villain. We also wanted to establish genre in our other products such as the magazine cover, where the main character, the girl, is shown running away from something supposedly the masked figure, which is a convention of other psychological thriller posters and magazine covers. The shot of the girl running also shows that she has a fearful expression on her face, suggesting a thriller or horror type film. For our poster we decided to take a different approach with the use of the mask instead of the girl as a central image. This relates to our trailer as the main antagonist in, in the film wears a mask. The poster also links to the trailer so we can subtly see the male lead in the background. We also placed a film magazine review of the film on the poster. Not only is this convention, but also helps to clarify the genre of the film. The colour scheme in the poster, red, black and white, the poster is also a conventional the psychological, psychological thriller poster. dark and mysterious. Red in particular is used as it suggests blood and therefore fear. This colour scheme is used throughout all our products. The tagline of the poster can also be linked to one of the text lakes of the trailer. This tagline is very suggestive and portrays a psychological element to the film. In this director's commentary, we've managed to see the different themes that interrelate throughout our products. That being text, biblical meanings, urban decay, location, genre and colour. As shown, you can see the common relationships that are bridged between all our different texts. Our poster, our film magazine and our actual trailer. We believe the combination of our texts have been very effective. Sometimes we do combine them but sometimes we don't need to because we feel that would be more, more of an effective technique. I hope this director's commentary has been informative and helpful to you.